Okay, hey guys, it's Nicole. So today we're gonna be doing a, what do you look like that? Like what? Like a fucking country music star and I'm good wearing it in a bad way. So honestly, I am pulling this look out of my, because you know what? Uh, look at this was like a tough week. Not for everyone, just like for, ugh, see I, this is not something we're gonna talk about today though. We went to church, that was fun. Also, I'm writing a book. I just said I, I decided to start like journaling my life and journaling like stuff that happens because like that's one way I deal with stuff. I remember like back in the days I used to write all the time in like a little booklet and I found it the other day and I was like, oh my God, it's, that was like everything. I need to start doing that again. So I wrote like 50 pages. I'm just gonna read the intro because I feel like, like I wrote a lot. I just, I'm just gonna read the intro because I felt like just the first lines were like kind of iconic. I said, Monday, March 14th, 2022. This is my SGP moment. <clears throat> also, anyways. I feel like overall, I'm pretty much a open book. I was never afraid to overshare my life with strangers on the internet. Actually, that's a lie. I like to stay in control of what I put out. That's all you're getting. Because I like to stay in control of what I put out. So, I feel like the things that I've exposed like, on my channel or whatever, are things that I'm just comfortable talking about, or, like, comfortable getting some sort of backlash or whatever. Also, we're drinking water. Tab water, may I add. Not even filtered with, like, Brita or something. Isn't that, like, a drag queen called Brita? How funny is that? Let me, like, jump into the makeup video, because what are we, are we gonna do this for, like, 24 minutes? This intro's already long enough. Let's just get started, girls. But yeah, so, um, being pover is like not fun. I, I really want to start like, I really want to launch my, my, how would I call that? I don't want to say it's clothing brands, but I want to make like one on ones. And there's a lot of stuff that I've sewn over the years that I've never worn that I, you know, should sell. Um, I'm also thinking about becoming a stripper. It's just a journal I have to figure out because you know. Um, yeah, well, it's just like to be determined. We'll figure it out. Also, new phone, who does? Um, there was like the HDR thing happening at the beginning and I like on videos. And first of all, what is HDR for? What does it stand for? And also, why does it make people look beyond ugly? Like, my sun damage was out of this world. My sun damage was, like, a subscriber. He was the... See, you don't know what it is, but... Wait, what? I don't know what it is, but all of a sudden, ever since I came back from LA, I have, like, so much sun damage. And it's like, ugh. As if. Ew, who says that? Also, I think I'm about to start my era of, like, color correcting. So, you know what? If anybody knows how to color correct, where it doesn't transfer, I would love to know. Because, like, my shaving game is what I F. It's just, like, it's not working anymore. It's not giving what it's supposed to give. It's just, like, I feel like the last few videos have been very gray. And it's, like, oof. It's not the vibe. Stop! Okay, we'll also do some Milani. Milani. Can we talk? Do you guys watch Real Life Stuff in New Jersey? I have so many things to talk about and so little things to talk about. But do you guys watch Real Life Stuff in New Jersey? Do you? If you don't, it's okay. And then me or like Melissa Gorga just doesn't have any storylines. Like I love her. She's very sweet. But it's like, baby girl, I'm just like, yeah, yeah, have to go, you know? It's like, anytime she pulls a storyline, it's always like a little. And also, I'm just like, I don't know what it is, but I'm beyond Team Jennifer. Like, I just, I'm, I'm Team Jennifer Aiden. Like, what Melissa did, she literally charged at the girl at her house. And then they all went like, this is our second time trying to like, find me. Babe, you read it to her. What? Cha anyway, so I'm actually kinda over this subject. 
what could we talk about? So we went to church. I had never gone to church before. Well, I did when I was like younger with my grandma. And I remember, oof, I kind of don't want to get canceled. I feel like you should never talk about politics and you should never talk about religion. But I remember when I went, when I was like younger, I was like, it was boring. Is that bad to say? Like I just, it's just, okay, so you know what it is, you know what it is. I, I know exactly what it is. I have, I feel like overall I have a very strong um, emotional intelligence. That's like one of my biggest talents. Like I'm good at Okay, my second point was going to say, like, I can't focus on anything. And I'm, like, on meds, so can you imagine? Anyways, but, yeah! I just, like, I have a hard time focusing on, like, stories or whatever. And the Bible is so cryptic that it's, like, um... Say what now? It's, like, I need a Bible for dummies. Um... Because it's like, this is just way too complicated for me. Like, I'm not understanding. And then, so, I, like, the way it went, first of all, I, I wasn't bored this time. Because we went to the church that's, like, next to my house. Babes. Babes. One thing about churches, babes. They are going off gold molding, crown molding. I think that's the same. And then, like, and that church was, it's, like, it's huge. It's the one next to the Queen Elizabeth. I don't want to dox myself, so let's just, like, call it a day. But let's just say that it's, it's a cathedral, I think? I don't know. Oh, I need to tell my friend we need to go to the cathedral, too. All that to say, it was, like, beyond beautiful. Like, whole sermon. And I really wanted to do, because I have been watching, like, Real Housewives of Orange County, and one of the girls... Um, I'm in the early seasons. One of the girls and her husband always goes to church. Obviously, their couple is, like, falling apart, but that's not the point. The point is that, see, the thing is, like, I have, like, this little spot right here that's just, like, lifting, and I feel like ugh, I should have worn SPF. Like, I'm really mad at myself. Like, I'm good at never being in the sun, and I was like, you know what, this is just one week of my life, and I feel like that one week of my life with no SPF, no hat, no nothing, aged me for at least like 75 years. I look so old right now. I need like a facelift, a skin graft, like something, PRP. Oh, I wanna get PRP, so is that what it's called? PRP. You know that thing where they like, they'll suck your blood out and then they do like micro needling with? I really wanna do that. If anybody in Montreal wants to do that for me, for free, I'll post a whole experience on YouTube. Um, you'll either get a thousand view, no views or maybe you'll get a lot it's kind of like you know it's just uh playing poker mm, blackjack mm, i don't know honestly i really don't know oh Nathan's playing music just one second because i don't want to get demonetized we got me running when I heard the music. I was like, uh, 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 uh. good TikTok. I should do that. No, because in LA, I remember wanting to film my video and then they all started, all day, no music. And you know what, one thing, I hate when people put their music because it's like, half of the time, it's like, it's not the vibe, you know what I mean? And at the same time, it's like, you can't just go to someone and say, your music shit. Turn it off. Like, that's, that's just rude. That's just plain old rude. I was like, what are you supposed to do? You're, you have like no other choice but to be like vibing to like shit music. 
Anyways, language. But yeah, so like we went to church and I think we're gonna start going at least like, I think Nathan need, need, needed it like a lot. He used to go like all the time. Actually, I'll, I really want him to kind of like, I can't focus. See, this is not gonna work. Nathan's a little sick, so he's gonna stay home. He's gonna be like in most of my videos now, I think. It's just like, Honestly, you know what's funny? Me and Nathan have been, like, in a honeymoon phase. Like, all of a sudden, like, we're so good. We're so caring. We love each other. Don't know what happened there, but it's, like, it was about time, you know. Can't be hating each other forever. But, no, but like, you know, cheers to healing. Cheers to understanding each other. Cheers to caring for each other. Cheers to everything. Did you guys see that? It was very scary. Don't want to be monetized. Don't want to see no dick flying. Oh my god, that's so funny. Which one? Oh. Hold on. Hide your. Oh, I don't think you guys guys. Anyways. That's very funny. So, Mr. Pompon will be joining us in a few. Thank you, Carl. Mr. Pompon! Okay, fuck my drag. You're talking to the wall. My stomach hurts. My stomach has been hurting for like the past two years. Oh, uh, two days. Also, I'm like sweating. It's so hot in here. I feel like I'm in Jersey. And You know what it is? I feel like ever since I started journaling, it's almost like I don't have anything to talk about anymore because it's like, just get it all off my, maybe I should stop journaling actually because then I'm not gonna be able to have like good content. But yeah, so we went to church and honestly, that church was like so pretty that I did not even see the time fly by. Like it went so fast. And I tried listening to like the stories and, oh yeah, because like from the real estate of Orange County, the lady, like she kept saying, like every time we go, my pastor is talking about a story that's like reflecting on my life. And I really was trying to understand the story. And you know what's so ironic? The story was about Jesus and his two friends trying to get rich and famous. I was like, oh my God, me. Me trying to get famous, Nathan trying to get rich. But then, like, I kind of forgot what the moral of the story was, so we'll wait. Maybe Nathan can explain that for us. See, that's, that's like, the only problem. But I really want to start, like, getting better at it and focusing more. I don't know. Am I getting canceled for going to church? It's more of a, like, spirit spiritual awakening. Also, like, can I be gay? Do I need to, like, not be gay anymore? I don't know how that works. We'll figure it out together, right? There's, like, no rush. My tummy hurts. Okay. I don't know what kind of eyeshadow look I want to do. Like, by that, I mean I have no clues. Maybe we should go for, like, a bright blue. It's, like, vulgar. Okay, I just want to know, like, is he coming or not? Because this is, like, getting annoying. Okay, let's do... I still can't get over this. The way how this, like, really broke. What? annoying because I feel like lately my video used to be like so entertaining. Are you coming? 
Mit Ben? Vatan? Es gibt Stadium mit du? Oh my god, that's so funny. I can't stand him. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in Montreal, Mr. Podion. How are you, darling? Very good, thank you. How are you? Okay, we just uh, think I messed up my lenses. Oh. Why? It hurts. Okay, wait, just move a little bit back. You know, this is my outfit. We'll like figure it out, but that's my outfit. It's one of the first ones. Right? Gorge. It's a bit too Okay. Um. So, where did you get those glasses? They're so pretty. So, I got those glasses at um, Santiali. Uh, it's a kind of market, a flea market with uh, a lot of people. Uh, Mr. Perillon. Uh, by the way, the new name of Paul is Mr. Polion. I'm Mr. Pompon, he's Mr. Polion. We rotate. It's funny, it's funny, I, it, wait, it's funnier in French. No, it's the same thing. No, it doesn't sound the same. Monsieur Pompon. What are you doing to your Mr. nose? Mr. Pompon. I always do that. What is it? It's called, um, trying to get it skinnier. Skinnier, skinny. Skinny legend. British. But, uh, so now the thing with Paul, it's been, what, 15 years with today together? Now I try. I stand like to have his uh, his words like British, uh, call it a day. Um, uh, when you say come see a banana, so I, I tend he's to. He's like he's speaking my he's speaking language. my wait how how would it no 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 come step in dialect. Do I have a dialect? Yeah, dialect. Yeah. He's speaking. So we went to Los Angeles. Have you talked about Los Angeles? Yeah, but we would love to hear it from your perspective. Okay. Now, hold on. Little rules. Papa pauvreté. Just come, fait, fait pas cancel, you know. Can come I be a journalist? Peste mo. Peste mo. Okay. You need like, to wait your you, words. Do you remember the, the little uh, candy thing called Pez? Yes. Yeah, like I'm gonna pez me more, pez my word. Okay, so um, something really, really interesting happened. That, uh, I don't know, I will start something. I have to be like a broadcaster. So something very funny, very interesting that happened with uh, in uh, Los Angeles. Uh, Paul had a friend called Garrett. Mm -hmm. So Garrett is, um, what's his name? What's his Instagram? The sugar baby candle. The sugar baby candle. Yeah, exactly. Some of on those lines. So he was so kind. This guy was so 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 kind, uh, like you can imagine, people. Um, and he was uh, very beautiful. Also, he was uh, kind of. Uh, it was very special for me to see two people that are very. Uh, you know, when you see two two friends and you're like. Oh my God! You're like brothers and sisters. You you were born the same. You were educated or raised the same way. Like in the sense that they spoke the same languages. They they could finish their sentences. And um, oh my God! There's like hair. I know. And um, do you want something else? No, no. Uh, maybe yeah. This. No, no, no. This one I need. Get this one. Okay, okay. Fashionista. So. It was very interesting, and uh, also um, Garrett. Uh, Garrett, as we're gonna call him, uh, Baby Candle. So Baby Candle had um, had like uh, two or three. Three dogs. Three dogs. Okay, I was, I was. Nathan fascinated. kept calling that one dog. Snoop. No, you kept calling him Squeaky. Squeaky. And like we had to repeat. The dog's name was literally Scooby. Like Scooby. Yeah, his name was Sco Scooby. I'm call I called him. Uh, uh, Scoopy, no, it's squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. I call this a squeaky. And he had some big eyes, it's so big, okay, and separated. And it was a pug, actually. So I was completely fascinated with the pug. I never, I've never had a pug in my life. I never pet a pug in my life. Actually, I want to say something. My English, I think, got better because of Paul. No, it got better, and it's also because of Paul. Do you, you, do you figure it out? Do I agree? Yeah, do you agree? Yeah. 
But the thing about Nathan's English is I feel I have a ticker French accent. He doesn't really. Like, his English sounds, like, good. It's just the way he makes sentences. And I'm not one to judge. I because... am to be what to be, to be who to be. <laughs> Funny. I so, speak a little bit of English. I speak a little bit of English. Uh, du coup. <laughs> oh my God. Nathan, do you know so who? I'll, Wait, call, I'll you speak know? like Karl Lagerfeld. Have you ever speak like Karl Lagerfeld? Karl Lagerfeld is an enormous genius in this world. You want me to speak like Karl Lagerfeld and you'd be I would like... I love for you. So the I'll be, I'll be is you. very interesting in the fact that we are we decided to put some silk in some red carpet at the 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 collection Chanel at Grand Palais at Paris. <laughs> Keep yeah. going. Can you do the whole video with that? I can do the whole so video good. like this. No problem. I mean, this, this is my Louis Prigion yes. in direct with Karl Lagerfeld. Hi, Louis. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Very good. Everything is very fine. Thank you. Uh, and how's the collection with Chanel? I'm the one supposed to ask that. I'm like, ah, okay. You're the <sighs> What is this spring summer collection like? Tell us. You know the spring collection of is very interesting because it, it puts some silk. It, it put also some uh, some effects of uh, numeric. Uh, uh, very interesting. Also, I would say that uh, it's, uh, the collection of uh, Chanel is also uh, the 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 led by uh, the Fendi collection that I've made for the last season. Awesome. And how is Chupet doing? Chupet is very good. Uh, she's eating the same thing I eat, a so salmon boiled with some f uh, with some beans. We are very good. You know, I know. I, you know, I do some dietetic. I'm very good at it. I put a book. So with uh, fifty boiled powder. Uh, Wait, you're losing the accent. Do it again. Okay. Let's focus. So. Uh, so I'm very good in dietetic, as you know. I, I'm the, uh, I've been uh, doing some uh, some powder that is very interesting. As uh, you can lose as much as a hundred kilograms as uh, taking some put biters. So tell me something, Loic. How much? Uh, how much have you been? Uh, what's your favorite collection of uh, Versace? Aren't you Italian? How come do you always say Versace? Is it Versace? No? Io sono siciliano, io parlo italiano. Yeah, actually I went to Italian school for 13 years. You still can say Versace? But Versace is nice because it's like... When you Do say you know Versace... that it, it drives Donatella crazy? She spoke about it numerous times. Yeah, but... We'll same... never be able to be friends with Donatella if you keep messing yeah, yeah, it up. Yeah, okay, Versace, Versace. Donatella, Versace, okay. Oh my god! You're Italian. Yes, I'm Italian. I see. That's everything. Yeah. You could be friend with. Okay, me with my small little brain thinking that just because he's Italian, he could be friend with. Donatella. He told me once. He's... No, Nathan, no, don't say that. Okay, so. <laughs> so Mr. Napoleon told me once that. Uh, no, it's don't so go difficult. there. I can have a British accent. You okay? Let's like get back to the to our story. We we're literally like beyond mentally challenged. What I'm Ooh. saying. Oh, 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 what I'm gonna say is very important. I wanna speak like an Italian boy. What I wanna say is that this uh, this little boy, when he saw me the first time, the first week, he told me, you know, you're Italian, so you eat al always pasta. That's and not I what I said. Sure. I said, I noticed you only eat pasta. No, I you never didn't mentioned notice. You. Come on, I don't, you Nathan, don't notice. Nathan, when we met, you would make pasta at 3 a.m. Like it was pasta, 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 pasta. That's pasta, all you pasta, would do. Pasta. And I never Chalera, met. I never so related. I never so said it was related. We went to karaoke. Okay. And okay, but just because, like, before I fucking get canceled, I never mentioned that pasta with him being Italian. He's making Stop that up. Stop thinking you're no, gonna just... get canceled. Stop no, because you're stupid. always making me look people, bad. People can think that I Italians eat a lot of pasta because we are. No, because that would be ignorant. The, you know, we're not the inventor of pasta. Um, is that in China? Yeah, it's China. Yeah. Okay. So yesterday I went to uh, day karaoke and I, um, you know, I, I always see the first, uh, you always see at. Okay. I'm like, that was weird. You always see at the first. So I went to the karaoke the first time of my life. I never went to the karaoke before. So what I've did is I went to the, to the first seat and I, what? 
at the front of the stage. at the front of the stage and i put the polion at this at the just of a côté okay so i sang fly me to the moon but you know the long 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 one you know it's like fly me to the moon and let me play among where those stars it's even longer than that anyways so it was really like a, a wedding thing and i uh and i wait that's it, that's it. so it's tough see or birds here yeah i can go away if you want no just like a look because you're in my per don't be dramatic sylvie perfect thank you it's just like i Who's you're sylvie? you're sylvie toi sylvie Sylvie! Oh my god, don't say anything. Okay. What did I want to say? People, I don't understand first why people are listening to us. Um, can I, I please, can I please know why you're listening to us? I'm mostly Polion there. But sometimes you, so I went to the karaoke and I, um, what's the problem? The way we, we're kind of like the same, you know? We are a... Yeah. 20 second yeah, attention but who span. has the biggest biggest brain biggest brain biggest dick no biggest brain no i have biggest. the biggest brain no you have the biggest no you you okay you have everything for you no you have the biggest dick i have the okay so you, I, you know you know what you have the biggest brain like to be smart i have the biggest brain to be emotionally smart yeah that's true Yesterday we went to we the need church. Help. We need help. Oh, okay, that's what I was talking about. So tell them about church. So yesterday we went to the church. I like, I love the fact that Paul didn't know anything about the church and still came. Because I had a lot of boyfriend which said like, oh, I am gay so I can go to the, the, the church, which is not true. And well, first of all, the church is beautiful. Second of all, meditate is very important. Meditating. Okay, I'm sorry. No, I really want you to get like better at it. I'm gonna find the valve. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do like a sheet. A sheet? No, a sheet with verbs. See, this is why I can be correcting people. I don't even know how to speak proper English myself. A sheet. A sheet. Have you shit yourself? Honestly. Oh my god, did you fucking okay, shit that's yourself? Another thing. That's another thing. Paul, always from the last like month and a half. We're in that, like, the elevator, and he's like, he looks at me, and he's like, have you shit yourself? No, I say, oh my god, did you fucking shit yourself? And we're like three in the elevator, and the girl is like crazy about it. Anyways, no, so we went to the church, like to we went to the cathedral, and it was beautiful. Oh, okay, wait, what I wanted to say is I really want to go to the one at Place Down. Can we go there for service, or no? It's five dollars going in. Well, it's five dollars to get close at the odds. Fair price. No, but can't like do they do you well, like can we talk about Garbaggio? Um, maybe not today. Yeah. So Paul Nathan. is gonna have a show soon. Oh, okay. Paul is gonna have a show. Actually, he asked me in uh, Los Angeles, he said And you know, Malibu while we were waiting yeah, for the beach. Malibu. And he told me, Look, I wanna have a show. Just uh, no, I didn't say I wanted to have a show. I was performing no, all no, day. No, no, no. I was being a clown. I was being so entertaining that Nathan offered me, you know what? You're such a star, Paul. I see it. You're a star. You need your show, darling. So this is very much like a Sony and Cher moment. Actually, I don't know their story. Is that what it is? I don't know what you're talking about. Sony and Cher? Yeah, what? Wasn't he, like, managing her? I don't know. Okay, so actually you went uh, to the, so we went to Malibu and then I saw so much potential, like you were so funny and like all day. And I'm like, why could you just like anime? Anime? I don't know. Anime. Do the animation. Do the animation for a drag show. So I called someone uh, to be able to make it. I, I hope it's going to be okay. And we'll maybe make, make more shows. But at least there's going to be one show where Paul is going to be the in animation of the show. I don't uh, think that's the word. How do you call it? The person that's like doing the... It's classified by animation. How would it be called? Maître de cérémonie. Anyways, who cares? The person who's like just, you know, saying, Next up! Next up, for the first time in Montreal. So, These nuts. So we're gonna have a show in Montreal. 
and uh, so looking forward, you're gonna Paul is gonna mention it. So if you want to come see him, uh, if you want to come see him, and uh, yeah, he's gonna be. I don't. I just don't know how you're gonna be able to like change your costumes. What do you mean? That's you're gonna be in one person. No, I'm gonna change costumes. Yeah, it's art, no. No. Okay. You literally just like take the dress off and put another uh, one. Also, me and Paul are gonna get married next month. Yes. Yes. Let's get the bill. Per. What? What the? What are you saying? I don't understand when you're talking like this. Okay. Um. That's so pathetic. But. But yeah, we're we're we're, gonna we're get getting married. married soon. What's your fucking problem? Nathan? Yeah, what's your problem? You want me to rock your shit right now? Rock a what? Rock your shit? You want me to rock your shit, you little... We're gonna get married next month. Totally. Totally, he said totally. So we're gonna get married next month. Because to get married, you need two people. Do we say two people or two person? Mm, I think it's the same, no? Just what kind of wedding are we going to have, Nathan? Tell donc, them. Donc, nous allons nous marier au palais de justice. At the... So at the, the thing court, is, like, Nathan, court, Nathan still court. didn't get, like, his citizenship. So, yeah. I'm doing it for that. Yeah, for the papers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just arrived, right? Eh, yeah, no! It was a joke. See, now this is karma for making a bad joke. Yeah. No, it's just that we got we want to get married because we want to have kids, and because uh, you know the law to be able to have kids, you need. Oh, to by the way, that's not true. I googled it. You googled it. <laughs> like we literally don't need to get married. No, but it's better if you get married. You know what you need. Kids. You know what you need to have kids. What? At least to adopt. What? You need to pass a psychiatric evaluation test, which I'm gonna fail, but. I'm joking, okay, let's manifest positive things, I'm sorry, I know that means. So we're gonna get married next month, and then we're gonna go to Sicily, Italy, where uh, all everything happened with the donkey. See, you know what's cr- like, think about it, okay? You know what's like, scary? You wanna get married, and then bring me to Sicily. Right away? Yeah. I wear my sunglasses and You know what that sounds? So can, so what? That sounds like you're trying to murder me. No, it's called the... Uh, oh, honeymoon. honeymoon. All right. Honeymoon. True, I forgot about that part. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um... So now I am on the close diet. I try to lose weight because I've been taking more than a hundred kilos. Uh, so I'm taking. Uh, I want to to be healthy. Um, so Paul helps me a lot. He makes that pork chop with with <laughs> cream, cream, mushroom cream, mushroom cream. I love mushroom cream. Yeah, he, I he licks, love. It licks the plate. I always. literally lick the bowl. I love mushroom creams. Like if. I don't know, if you're sad, if you're, whatever happens in life, mushroom cream is like always there for you. And it's always like, it's just so fulfilling. Okay, keep going. So that's it. I'm trying to do a lot of exercise also. We, we literally walk from home to go anywhere. Now, yesterday we did one hour and a half um, of walking, walk, walk just to go to the karaoke. Uh, we go to a karaoke, uh... Nathan, you're stepping on my foot. Sorry. My love, I have to explain you something, darling. When I'm doing my makeup, you can't be touching me. Do you know what I mean? Is it, is it bad? I mean... What are you, what? what are you saying? I don't understand. I'm saying you're like... I don't understand. You're like, I'm a little sound. It's not like cancel when you take the accent of something. Well, it is, but at this point it's like... Yeah. Well, is it, do you get canceled for doing like a... A... No, if it's if it's a white accent. No, don't start this. I don't know. Are we getting cancelled today for doing like British accents? Have a little we faith should. on me, yeah, it's all I mean. You know who sings that? Oh. Have a little faith in me, yeah, it's all an angel. I'm DDB. Oh. 
No! Non, pas ton poste, bref. Je vais faire un accent. Non, mais pas un de. Je vais faire l'accent de. What's his name? Sarkozy. Okay. Mais s'il vous plaît. Mais s'il vous plaît, je vous en assure, je n'ai jamais, jamais pris d'argent de la Libye. Jamais je n'ai pris, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, avec respect. Vous ne pouvez dire des choses comme ça dans une chambre, voyons. Nice. I think it's bad. No, it was a very good. Well, I don't know who. I don't know him. Mr. Sarkozy. Oh, je vais faire, I'm gonna do the Pope uh, Benedict XVI. Fratelli, sorelle, siamo qua, vicino Dio, per darci la nostra fidezza del cuore. Anyways. Like you're getting cancelled by the Pope. The Pope. I know. My forehead's a little patchy. What'd you put? Oh. I'm a sunglasses and I so I can, so I can. Okay, do you want to talk about something you're passionate about? Yeah. Okay, so so I'm passionate about, I'm passionate about the bit. I am a passionate about the bout. Apache. I'm passionate about writing. I write a lot. I wrote a book called "Become What You Are." It's a it's a book that speaks about uh, it's an aphorism and it's a book that speaks about a euphorism. A aphorism. What's, what's that? Aphorism is a small, like, one page of thinkings. Oh. Interesting. Keep going. My apologies. And, uh, so, yeah, that's it. And where can we find that book? Nowhere, because the book was never published, but I want to publish it. And I have another um, book that I want to make about my... Uh, See, okay, the people that, uh, wait, wait, wait. Was I think, life. I think this book is the best idea ever, but I also think it's the worst ever. Let me tell you why, okay? So the book is basically about him discovering sexuality and him being like... Discover uh, also... Like everything, first girlfriend, old boyfriend. But the thing is, first of all, name dropping. I, you guys know me, I'm super against name dropping. If I'm going to talk shit behind someone, I'm going to like at least change their name. He didn't. And I was like, um... I'm yeah, but I'm gonna, gonna do it at the end. Baby girl, gonna you're gonna see them cease and desist. I'm not gonna sign it. But yeah. However, and also I feel like because in my opinion, sex is such a like personal thing. It's like in between. It's almost like in my mind the way I see it is it could almost be translated as revenge porn, in a way where you're putting out such a private moment from someone for the world to see. And what I tell you, like, sometimes he would call me on the phone and, like, read me a chapter and I would just go like this. Mm -hmm. What I tell you, it's, like, beyond TMI. It's beyond TMI. Yeah. But it's beautifully written. I also talk about myself, like, my, my thinkings, uh, my relations, what I've discovered, my uh, action of power, of uh, loneliness, of... Uh, Shawarma, those things. Okay. What else do you want to talk about? I want to talk about also, I have a passion about helping people. Okay, don't go there. So let's go. See, me and Nathan literally don't fight, any, don't fight anymore. It's like so boring. Like he just know. listens to me now. He listens to me, finally. I'm a good boy. He's a good boy. I'm oh my god, do you want to talk about your bottom era? Okay, TMI, sorry. They tend to, is I it, was it, never a bottom of my life. Never, never, never. I was on top. But now he's in I'm his an bottom alpha era. <laughs> what is that? I don't know, but I am. Not. What's an alpha twing? That's so funny. Um, well, 
I don't know. I told you guys, like, I don't know what's happening, but lately it's just like nothing. It's been pretty like uneventful after like LA. Also, I'm doing a, a, the biggest erotic art show in Canada. So I'm doing that uh, in August in Montreal. So I hope that it's going to be like 52 artists. There's going to be 15 performers. They're going to be a, ca a cabaret burlesque. It's 6,000 square footage. And uh, it's in six months. So I'm kind of happy of that. Happy or excited? If you want to go see the page, it's called sexposition.montreal, MTL. So sexposition.mtl on uh, Instagram and Facebook. Nathan will always find a way to plug himself. Hmm. We love that. I'll also, Paul has a kink to shave me. Oh my god. Okay, let's talk about that. He shaves me. It took me oh. two hours to shave Nathan. Like, it literally took me two hours the other day to shave him. It was disgusting. We literally clogged the drain like 25 times. I literally, I'm literally gonna have like to get some drain or something because. Yeah, the shower's a little fucked, no, but... it's not fucked. No, no. Nathan? Yeah. You know what fucks what you're putting on your face right now? No, I look pretty. No. Pretty crazy. So, yeah. What's your biggest insecurity? What's the thing you worry the most about in life? Losing you. Okay, what's the other one? That was very cute, thank you. See, Nathan's cute now, what happened? I love that. I'm in love with Nathan. I'm in love with I'm you. in love with the idea of being in love with Paul. Okay, you see, he always has to fuck it up. Never mind. I want to fucking divorce. You can't be divorced. We didn't get married yet. Well, we'll get married and we'll get divorced. Like So, yeah. So, we're going in Italy in June. No, tell me about what are your biggest insecurities. I okay, wanna... my biggest insecurity in life is to not have projects. To put me on the 9 to 5 thing and don't be able to make projects. Right now on the table, I have so many projects that are crazier than ever in my life and that drains people in. I don't know if drains, it's a good uh, name. Or what? That other people come to. That brings them? That that brings, I said drains. Drains. <laughs> no, that would be yeah. draining. Keep going, love. So I have so many projects in life right now I feel that I am so lucky, so lucky to exist, to fulfill myself, to be able to be what I am and to become what I want and what I am at the beginning, which is my book. Don't want to become what you want, but more discover what you are inside. So what is the, this is the, 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 the this is the prerog prerogative, prerogative. Of, it's the prerogative of the essence comes before the existence of Jean Paul Sartre or Jean Saul Part. Uh, what? I don't know. I'm trying to philosophy here. So oh. there's another thing that I love is l'éternel retour, which is the eternal comeback from Nietzsche, which is the fact that you can come back to a certain to anything of your life and being fulfilled and doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it. So my biggest uh, my biggest uh, and security would be to be not able to accomplish some projects, some things that would get me along with what I am and make me discover what I am. So even if I was a lawyer, I think I would be shocked to not be able to have projects, uh, you know, because when you're a lawyer, you work like 50, 60 hours a week. It's very hard, you start and... Uh, so that's it. Another thing is, uh, you know, I don't think money is a goal. I think money is a matter of doing things in life. And because I have a lot of projects, I need a lot of money. So this is one of my insecurity, not being able to have the resources that are not always uh, money, right? The resources could be people, could be uh, goals that you achieve. Uh, I think about um, any company that is starting, uh, you don't want uh, the money. Sometimes you might, do, of course, you mind the money. You want the money, but what you want the most is shining. Is to be able to make money with it. Yeah. So that's it. Thank you, Mr. Paul Leon. No, keep going. That's so interesting. No, honestly, keep going. Very inspiring. I mean it. I'm super sarcastic. I did ask continue. So, and I believe in our okay, times. Never mind. You ruined it. You, you, you went with an accent. I was so pretty, love. 
I believe in this modern time, uh, especially in like a country like Canada, like Quebec, like Montreal, if you go more specific, everybody could do something of their life. See, that doesn't work very well. No, the equity doesn't exist. Uh, nobody equity? is equal. Wait, wait, wait. Equity? Yeah, equity. Equality? Equality. Equality is not... equity is like when you go at the bank. Okay. Equality doesn't exist, but we have the chance that 80% of the population in the world don't have, which is to have education and to have like things like government grants, like... Uh, like the possibility to not get, I think about Sicily and I'm, I'm like, if you want to make a shop, you make a shop. If you want to build a house, you build a house in Sicily. It's very difficult, you know, because there's organized crime. Same thing if you go to Mexico or other countries in the world. So I believe that we have the potential to become an artist. We have the potential to become the new thing. I don't care about It's artists. not just potential. I think it's also we have the privilege. The privilege, yes. The privilege is a good, yeah. We have a privilege that other countries in the world don't have. And I find that it's so sad when I see people that are in a certain mechanism, like a watch, and they can come back. And it, it really, really, really triggers me because those people go in a certain way and they're going in a way that... It's not about society. I think it's quite choices. And more you go, more, you go, more the choices are hard to come back. That's how I understand. I don't think uh, it's all the thought of people. I think there's people at 25 years old that would love to do something that they can't. And this makes me very, very sad. I'm, I'm so happy and so, uh, so, uh, so uh, grateful. grateful. Grateful is the world and a certain grace that I could have in my life to be able to make my project. Since I was 18, I was uh, a businessman, I was an artist, I was whatever I was, I was. I don't care about names, I was what I was. And I'm so happy today to be able to inspire other people to come with Wait, me. What? If I have people around, if I have employees, oh. if I have collaborators, it's because there's people that think that I worth it. And this is one of the greatest thing uh, of my life, is the fact that people believe in me. And uh, it wasn't the case always, you know, when I, I, I told you, Mr. Polion, when I started, I started with, with no money. I started with one person in this world that wanted to be good with me and help me and not help me, but more guide me and be a mentor. That was my mom. And always in my life, I never had for years, I never had anybody. And today I'm so happy that I joined with everybody and made a unity. So beautiful. Really also, I want to say that Paul stinks. When he's stressed, he stinks. Yeah, and he stresses me all the time, so I smell like shit. Yeah, he stomach. smells like a pony. Like a donkey. Like a donkey. No, but um, for sure, I mean, it's your time. It's your time to act. I think there's no ages for to act. There's no point of life Wait, where there's no return right I, I'm, I'm talking about acting to yourself to your life to become what you want to be to become what you are there's no point in life where there's a non-return when you for me you could be 75 years old and you have a passion for something you can't do it for sure you're not gonna let's say uh, we're gonna do something let's say you want to be a hockey player a what? A hockey player, okay? And let's say you're 35 years old. You know that you can become really a hockey player. The, the chances that I, is, but you can fulfill this passion by doing something. If you don't do it, nobody's gonna do it for you, nobody. It's a question of being able to take the decision to risk, to gamble and to go. Mm-hmm. Ask me then the question. What would you say your biggest regret in life was? Okay, too deep. It's okay. We can skip. No, I just think about it. Uh, You're like, where do I start? 
I have none. None. I think my biggest regrets in life was the fact that I never wanted to choose. I, I, I don't think it's a regret, but when I think about it, it's kind of risky. I never decided to come to, to say like, I'm going to be a lawyer. I'm going to be a notary. I'm going to be a physician. I'm going to be, I never did that. I just go gone with the flow. And sometimes I think, you know, what I'm doing in my life is crazy, but if everything ends, I don't know what I'm going to do. But this is a regret that also, if I did have, if I had, if I put it myself in the thinking of being something like I would say a diplomat, I would surely have not done what I've did and surely being not what I am today. So I, th it's a regret, but it's a rational regret, but it's a, not a, a emotional regret. I don't regret of doing that because I, that's the life I wanted. I want to be a project by project. I wanted to be a gallerist. I became a gallerist. I wanted to be in politics. I went to politics. Next Tell year, us I'm about your politics experience. We're not talking about what kind of... Okay. Because here's the thing. We're into no teams. We don't get political here. I just want you to share what your experience was like. What did you learn? This is full. Yeah, it's brand new. It's fresh tap water from... <gasps> I was going to talk. I was going to say where we lived. So, when I was 17 years old, I've decided to go in politics. Okay, let's get screw back up. Just don't two screw on screw. Thank and you. Nobody understood really why I wanted to go in politics. Okay, I'm I'm sorry, my God. It's just like C'est bouge beaucoup. Okay, let's see, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm leaving. So was that when I was uh, so when I was uh, seventeen, I decided to go to politics. Into okay. into politics. I was a young artist going to a good, very good school, a private school, and that was a lot. And my father t told me that politics was always about. Aesthetic superficiality, met meat of interest, manipulation, and lies. And my mom told me, go see. Go see what it is. See what it is. You're good at talking. You're intelligent. You can do it. You're open-minded. You can do it. So I went. So I went for three years, actually. I went with young politicians. So the young part. I went for the real part, so like the, how can I say, like the deputy and everything, okay? And I've done everything, okay? I'm not gonna say what party I was, but uh, mm -hmm. what I've, mm -hmm. I've discovered is people are passionate. I've did do doors to doors, you know, and talking to people with, and seeing people around me with passionate eyes, looking at people and selling it. You know, selling it, why? Because they thought it was the truth. And this made me a little bit conscious of what brainwashing could do. When I say brainwashing, it's the idea that a certain kind of ideas could go along for everybody. This, just the fact that it's for everybody and is 100% true. So I'm someone that is very septic, that like to try things. Like I went to the church, like I worked for the church for three years also. And I was also always septic and I was always... Uh, I thought skeptical? No, Questioning everything. I was questioning putting everything. everything in question. I was putting everything in question. I don't think anything is normal. I don't think anything should be just accepted like that. Everything has to be. When I say everything, there there, there are very, very big things. Okay, uh, it's not every small things. It's more about the concept, the the dogma. Okay, of things. 
Um, so I went to politics. I was very happy. I was very intense in it. So every time I'm, I'm doing something in my life, I'm very intense. So I was in politics. I went to all those, uh, those gala. I went to all those things. I also uh, tried to showcase my art into the politics. Uh, I loved it. Obviously, I loved it. I was even given some privilege to, to do things that others couldn't do. And at a certain point in my life, uh, my mom died and I stopped everything. I stopped going to church. I stopped my participation in politics. I stopped my participation in gallery and art gallery. And that was in 2017. And now I want to come back in politics. Uh, I'm not sure that church is a good place for me. No. As a visitor, yes, but okay. inside, I don't think so. And um, even I believe, um, I've seen a lot of things and I believe, I made my own beliefs and I think that I'm not, I should not be in the, the, the team, if you want, inside the church. But I, I could be a visitor, I could be, you know, a, uh, a sinner, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, this year I want to come back in politics. In a few years I want to do politics because I think it's very important to give the chance to other people. I think I have a good way, I'm, I'm very good at communication. Uh, maybe not because you, I mean, my English is, you know, I'm doing improvisation in English and my English is kind of weak, but I'm no, very good. I, I didn't say anything. No, no. But I think, uh, my communication is very, I have some, uh, graces, I think. I don't have all the graces, but I have some graces that I think the people could have. And uh, it could be a power for them as a democracy. So democracy is the power to people. I believe that I can do something about it and at least try to do something about it. And I have, you know, uh, I have very deep values. And I think I don't, I, and uh, I believe that I need to, um, to be able to give those values and be able to represent other people. So it's like me talking for an hour and a half. That's the thing. Yeah, I need a break. So you're taking over today. I love it. I have nothing to say. So the floor is yours. What else would you like to talk about? I never loved someone like Paul. I think it's a gift of God. It's a gift from something supernatural because it doesn't come from here for sure. I never had those feelings of attachment to someone. I never had those feelings of abandonment, abandonment to someone and kind of being vulnerable to someone. Um, I really like Paul, you know, I really love Paul. We're together. It looks like we're, it's been 10 years with, with together since the, since the beginnings, the first weeks, we thought that we were together for an, a year at least, right? No, you said we would break up on December 24th. No, but you, you remember would... you told me, you remember you told me it looks like we dated for like three oh, years. Oh yeah, yeah. After like the first week, it yeah. felt like it had been a year, which, yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, so that's why I want to marry him, you know? Below anything, I want to establish something with him that is true and that is like, you can't go more than marrying for me. I never got married in my life. I fiancé two times. You got engaged twice. I got engaged twice because I thought it was the best. I was young and I'm very kind of intense. Mm -hmm. But I know that right now it's the good time, I think. Uh, in April, everything's going to be fine. And uh, I really want Paul to be uh, my husband. As he is anyways right now, I think, right? We are. So that's it. 
and uh, also he learned me to be more respectful. He taught me of being more respectful towards a boyfriend, which I sometimes lack of the of doing, and the sense of talking to other people, in sense of uh, um, banalize things that are kind of very hard for him. Um, so now I don't see the neighbor anymore. <laughs> Basically, what Nathan's saying is he stopped cheating. I'm joking. No, no, I never cheat on him. Gaslighting. No, I never cheated on him. Anyways, the, the the idea is not about what you think. Okay, if I think it's this is Jean Paul uh theory. Okay, it says that if I say that you're ugly. Whatever you think you are, you'll always be ugly because I've decided to. It's the same thing with Paul. If I talk to a guy on on uh, on Instagram, let's say, okay, and I send some pictures, but I never truly want him, and I want, and I don't want to see him. For me, it's not cheating. But if Paul thinks it's cheating, I am in a certain consequence of. What he thinks. If he thinks it's cheating, it's cheating. That's how it works. So I've decided to understand what Pauls really think about cheating, not cheating, respect, what is respect, what is not respect. And now I'm trying to apply it. I think I apply it good, no? So far you've been doing good over And it's about also it's about things that triggers him, you know? When I talk about my exes to Paul, it triggers him. But you know what it, it, you know what's it, so it took funny? me 10 months to understand that. But you know what's funny is that it's almost like either people have been lying to you like all of your life, but I have like multiple people who told you like in front of like, cause Nathan will love to bring up a ex out of nowhere saying, oh, I used to do that with my ex. And it's like, it's been like four years. Like why, why and why would you bring up a ex in front of your current boyfriend? Especially like when you're talking about like good times. And I'm not saying like you should never do it, but it's just in general, I feel like it's common sense that you don't talk about your exes in front of your boyfriend or your current boyfriend. And it's been like we've had numerous people told Nathan, Are you really talking about your exes? Like so I don't know what kind of people you used to hang with or what kind of people you were with, but I My feel like they... exes didn't care about it. Mm, or didn't... They probably did and you didn't listen to yeah, them. Yeah, maybe I didn't listen. But the most important thing is what I'm doing right now, which is mm -hmm. to understand... Evolving. What... Not involving. I, I feel say. like you're finally doing the right it's thing. More, it's more adapting. It's not evolving. Because there's people... It's consensuous, okay? A couple is two people. If you are sad, I am sad. If you are angry, I am angry. So if something, an action that I make makes you sad, so I am responsible and I am guilty of doing it because I'm conscious that you don't like it. Yeah, but so at now the same that I'm time, conscious about it. But at the same time, I, like I agree with what you're saying, but at the same time, there's certain things like, like Let's say if I said that you um, going to the gym made me sad, you know, like, how does that make sense? How is that your fault? It's probably no, we're like, talking about emotional. We're talking about respect. Yeah, I think it's more of a respect thing. Keep going. This is so interesting. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Um, what I'm saying is more I have to take your definition and your rules because they are not extreme when someone says to me you shouldn't talk about your exes that's kind of a rule that everybody does but I don't so that's my fault I think you go to the extreme when you say, if I don't want you to go to the gym, it makes me sad. It's not about that. It's about small things that I refuse to make it clear in my head that it exists. Like so I refuse the stubborn. fact that talking to people on Snapchat would hurt you. Well, it's not just talking to people on Snapchat. It's 
sexting people. Whatever. This for me is nothing. Was yeah. nothing. Till I understood. Until I accepted that it was bad and you felt bad on it. So I am conscious now. So if I do it, I'm guilty. So I'm not going to do it because I'm an intelligent boy. You're a good boy. I'm a good boy. Can I leave you? Why? I'm tired. Je veux pas rester quand même 5 minutes de plus. Oh. Je pense que fini. Oh. Tu peux-tu aller acheter des sandwichs? Non. If I give you the money? Non. Because you ate the fucking sandwiches. And you left the box. Mais ils sont the... bons. No, they're yeah. good for like 3 days. And you ate the whole thing. So far. I really the whole thing, there was 3 sandwiches. No, there was like 10 of them. No, there was... It was a whole entire box. Oh, shit. Okay, but do you want to do your outro? Do you want to tell people bye? Just gonna leave like that? Okay. Okay, so well. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. What's him? So I'm very glad you listened to us and uh, we'll meet this next time. And I hope if you can answer me, why are you, why, what is different that you are watching us? What's the reason why they're No, what, not the reason. What is the difference that makes you to watch us? Because you could watch a thousand things and you take the time to watch us. So why? Thank you. That was fine. You know what? We're gonna do like that tape thing. Shame, do you want to go for? Like, what's the vibe? So, I literally have like shit in my eyes. So gross. Just, I don't know what kind of vibe I want to go for. I can't figure it out. I want to do like a very pale bone color.
perfect for us. Um, I'm really trying to figure out, like, how do I... What kind of look are I doing? I feel like this side is like turning good, this side is like fucked. She's giving you pulled. I think the problem here is the placement. So it's like a little patchy. Mm, I don't know. Maybe if we put just a tiny bit. Let's go in with a super defined. Oh, you know who I really want to do? I really want to do Pamela Anderson. It's just like I had a litter corset, but it's at my mom's house. That's like, that's too far away. I don't want to go there, you know what I mean? But maybe I'll start going for like next week or something because I need to get like my, I need to get paperwork and stuff. So maybe I'll do that next week. Yeah, let's manifest that we do Pam for next week because like, I don't even know what this look is gonna, I don't even know how it's gonna turn out. I feel like it's giving Alex a dummy. <laughs> Everyone when they do like simple brown liner. It's giving Alex some. Nathan! Nathan, Nathan! I love the music. I'm gonna get demonetized. Oh my god, I almost lost it. Ferme la porte. Oh 
on my tablet as I pulled out the ice cream. But if I get one job. Nathan! Oh my god, Nathan! It's not that hard, it's not that hard. Just on a message table. Then what's the button? Then what's the button? Then on a phone call, you put the mathematics and the call on the Let's manifest that like. If I get flagged, really, oh, that suck. I don't want to like. I don't have a cover in for Edgemont. That would be like very nice. That would not be fun. Like I'm already like not making money. Imagine getting banned. Oops. Imagine like let's let's like let's also like focus because wow. Okay, well, this is starting to feel like a, let's call it a day. Maybe I kind of want to use this ugly color. What would that look like? Oh, that would look ugly. <laughs> That's a stupid thing. That's a stupid thing to say. And remember, when you make a mistake, make the mistake on the other side too. Actually, let's pack this like beige here. Do a little bit of this. Just use my hair like this and do a little. Should I smoke it out? I just want to like, I'm kind of over it. Like, I'm not talking, I'm not doing anything. This is boring as fuck. I just want to like, figure it out just so we can call it a day. Okay. I don't know, <laughs> don't know how to fix this, I don't know what to do.
let's do liner and just like call it a day because at this point um, I'm not feeling very inspired Anyways, this is my good side, so who cares, but... No, that needs a little blending. You know what? I feel like I would. This is such a random thought. I feel like I would thrive in a house arrest environment. Like, you can't get out of the house? Oh, no worries. I'll do that. Imagine being able to, like, serve your sentence at home. I don't know what a house arrest is, do I? I don't think that's what it is, huh? I don't know. Maybe it is. Okay. I feel like this is giving Alexa Demi. Alexa Demi. Demi means af in French. It's funnier in French. You guys need to learn French. Do you guys speak French? Do you want to learn French? That term grow pre is to say term grow pre to compound. Do you settings for no settings spray? I feel like I look fine. Everything looks melted. What is the settings spray gonna do, really? What is it gonna do, huh? I don't know, I feel like lately I've been looking like a lot better with no setting spray. Okay, so we're almost done. Let's get the bill. Per so lashes. What kind of lash do we wanna do? Do we wanna go to do something natural? I feel like I wanna go with something natural. Oops. Maybe this one. This one I feel was pretty. Hold on, let's look. Mm, almost too dramatic. How about this? It's literally gray. And it's also literally like popping out. How do I make this like? I feel like this is a lash from hell. I remember it the other day, there was just like this one lash that just would not like want to stick in the inner corner. Kiss girl. Yeah. Do you know how to? Kiss girl. Can you meet your boyfriend to fight? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Say your name? Say your name? Say your name? Say 
Jó lehet, hogy nem. Utána nem tudsz csinálni. 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 Nem tudsz csinál The only problem with this flash though, it's like, it's never sticking. Let's just like quickly. I'm starving. Uh, look at, oh, I think I'm gonna do devil eggs. So disgusting. No, but I think I'm gonna do like a good old hard boil moment. Those are always the best when you're hungry. I don't have enough bread. This is really like our cover era. Let's get the lash glue. Her. You know what? This is like... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it's giving. Actually, crap. I don't hate it. What colored? I think we'll go with blue. really need to figure out this inner corner because it never it always tries to pop out My real lashes are like super long, but they're so ugly. It sucks. Wait, eyelash curler? Mm. That doesn't hurt, I promise. The way how I did not go to, to the bathroom, not even once today.
no this just needs to like hold by like this is the Wait, see, I think I put this one like too close to the Oh Like look how this placement is everything and the other one is just like not it. Okay, let's get the bill per. Okay. Lips. What should we do for lips? I think, you know what? I'll just go for like a dirty 90s, deep, dark lip liner with like a beige. So I think we'll use... This one's never like a country star music video. This is just... I don't know what it is. Well, they started the end. Maybe 80s? Is this 80s? I don't know what era this is. So right now we're using Kidney Stone from MAC. Maybe that was a bad idea. I look like I've been smoking cigarettes my whole life. See, now I'm debating, should I go with something a little bit warmer? Because I feel like it's gorgeous, but... Mm.
yeah, for sure. You guys, I'm getting old. What is this? <gasps> Gag. So let's get like the contacts. I'm just gonna grab them. Just give me one second. I feel like the day I get a nose job, it's over for you bitches. I was gonna say it's cold, but I just realized I put the AC on. Maybe not the smartest idea ever, but hey. I dread to be cold and to be sweating because that's just not the vibe. So. This burns. Fuck. Why is it burning? Do we not have any cleaning solution here? Oh, I got a big burn. I just realized you guys can't see anything. How unfortunate. Such a bitch, I'm sorry.
Yeah. Okay. Okay, on to the final look. <laughs> okay, this is actually kind of pretty. I feel like I always kind of do the same face though. It's missing a je ne sais quoi. I feel like it's missing like orange blush. We'll grab something called Bright Orange. So it's this one right here. And we'll just tap it, tap it on the back. Mm, never mind, it gave a Cheeto, but we'll do the same thing on the other side. You know what? I kind of think I like it. Are we... See, I overdid it with the eyelids. So, note to self. This is not like 2020. Uh, 2019. We don't need to like... Go crazy with the eyelighting and everything. Lesson learned. You know, you can't be good at everything. Let's add just a tiny bit more brown here. I think overall it's like giving, hold on, it's giving, it's giving not your natural tan, right? Okay. Let's put the breast. to give me like two seconds. Uh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Just don't know if that's gonna work. Let's wait and see. Hopefully, it does. I actually made this like a long time ago, like during the pandemic. Let's go with this. Then this needs to go. Actually, I think. It might be a fun. 
Eben. So, if you look like this, I'm gonna have like a jacket. It's a little patchy. Mm. Maybe if I hold on, hold on. This video is so long, I promise it's almost done. Hmm. Or maybe if I just go like this. No. I think the best was like this. Maybe if I make it lower. Hold on. What if I tied this first? Can I? Ooh. So this was made for like when I was doing drag but with no titties. So it's a little, uh, como se dice, it's a little for flat chested babies. It's just like, see, it's like on the, on this side, this should have been like a little bit more darted and it would have looked like good. And this also like this part of like floating. I'm just trying to figure out like how to make it look at least look decent. Um, that's like a little hard right now. I think we'll just go like. It's just like I need to go underneath the boob. It's real. Struggle. Oop. Oop. Queen down. Okay. Okay. I think we got it. I think we're on the right path. Nothing's working. Hold on. So let's just like call it a day. See, the thing is, if it was shorter, if it was shorter, I think it would have been better. Okay, well, we can do that. That actually looks crazy, so let's just, ooh, ooh, okay. Okay, let me change into the final look before I get, like, demonetized. Okay, just 
put the hip pads on. Oh no, I brought the zipper. Fuck. That's bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news. Mm-mm. Ugh, so annoying. Is it at least like giving a little? Because right now all it's giving is it's only giving me a headache. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I just like need to redo the. Oh, this is like a 20 hour long video. I'm so sorry. And then I have like the cowboy hat that goes with that. It's like not fitting my head. Do I just like call it a. Should I go with the hat or not? I don't think I should do the hat. It's like obviously not fitting. Okay. It's like the breast. And then let's just like post for the thumbnail and yeah.
right, so let's like show the final look. Who is it giving? Ugh, the lighting's finally packed out. We love her. So. I'm actually not living for the shoe. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. It's like already such a long video. You know what? I can't. Okay, hold on. I'm actually kind of obsessed with this. This face. I actually kind of like the way the breast is looking. Like this is kind of like a first for me to like squish, squish them like that. Okay. Um. You know what? I'm gonna do a few TikToks and think, and then I think I'm gonna do like a video. Maybe I could go to the grocery store like that. Um, I'll find like another video that I could add. Okay, bye baby gorgeous.